obviously was not that much of a penalty or delay for Edcox. He is now in second position and closing quickly on Charlie Glock. And a spin. That's spin. Oh. And two cars involved. Some hit the wall. Other cars now become involved. Several hit the wall. Another fire breaks out. Tracy Reed was involved. I think that was Tracy's car that flamed up. The fire seemed to snuff itself out. But there must be eight or ten cars down there. It happened right in the top ten. Tracy Reed. I can see Patty Sinko's car was involved. Uh, Terry Pearson is in there. Rick Jeffrey. There are several. There's Patty's car and Jeffrey. The two we just mentioned. Movement in both of their cars. There's a uh, Rick O'Brien car. Rick O'Brien car. Mark Gibson. Keith Seagars. Gibson was the leader of this race. There is Tracy Reed's machine. The backup Kale Yarborough Hardy's car that has been seriously damaged. Bobby Jack's car also involved in the 71 car. Yeah, there you see some drivers getting out. Bob, I'll tell you what, um, and there is Tracy Reed making some type of gesture to maybe he thinks the car is still on fire. We have completed 101 laps. There are 16 laps to go. A long ways around here at Talladega. There is, however, an outside possibility. There's Tony Spanos, by the way, and Bob Reback. There's a possibility remote that this race is over. We'll see how it unfolds. Well, let's go to Dr. Jerry Punch, who is right down there where this accident occurred, Jerry. Well, the safety crews are certainly getting out, getting in position here in turn four. A number of cars, at least eight or nine cars now, totally involved. The safety crews on the scene. We saw Don Marmer's car pull up and away. Tracy Reed climbed from his car. Patty Simcoe involved. The car is still sitting there. The safety crews have just been able to remove some of the burn drivers from before from the accident up in one of the pits earlier on pit road. Now they have to go back to work. They had to get back in position. They were very close to this accident, so all trucks were there immediately. They will get the drivers out. We'll try to give you a further report in just a few moments. Well, the medical personnel have really had a workout out here in the last few laps as they were tending to some burn victims of that fire in the pit area and then this multi-car accident breaks out just off turn number four entering the trioval most drivers we believe have climbed out of their cars and appear to be all right we'll get further word as time goes along now we'll take a look at this incident to see if we can tell what happened a red car has hit the wall on the outside is that gary bettenhausen i can't tell from this distance it appears to be gary Bobby Jacks is running on the bottom side. There's Tracy Reed spinning. And now Jacks and Reed are backing up right in front of the field. Wall whack is that he not Simcoe just getting through. Jax goes back into the wall, as does uh, the other car spinning. Gibson is down on the bottom of the racetrack, and then there is just nowhere for anybody to go. That blue car is Rick Jeffrey. You can see the flame coming up. And again, we were speculating that that was coming from Tracy Reed's car. And there is just nowhere for the people behind to go. Rick Jeffrey had scrubbed off quite a bit of speed, but he went into the wall almost head on. Take another look at near the end of it. There you can see there's Tom Ussery, the red number 70. There's Reed going sideways into the group. And yes, it is Reed's car that flames up. There he is, the 28 car. You can see the Hardy's logo on the side, depositing flame on the grass there. Keith Seegers again. There's Jeffrey backing across. He's already made that hard contact Bob was referring to on the outside wall. And uh, Bobby Jacks there on the right-hand side of your screen. And everybody behind him looking for a place to go. There's Usri. He's still involved. Bree Vacken, 34 on the left-hand side of your screen. And he is blasted as he backs across the racetrack. Well, a lot of wrecked cars.